Increasingly, we're seeing businesses start to incorporate non-financial considerations into the rhetoric. Rhetoric on the website, and even rhetoric coming from the C-suite. What we're not seeing is that rhetoric turning into reality. In order to bridge that implementation gap, we believe that businesses should consider mandating these secondary factors into their business, either through the constitution of the business or even through the investment mandates themselves. Now, the obvious reaction to this is you're moving into the spectrum of charity or you're moving into social enterprise, certainly out of the domain of business. We don't believe that to be the case. Let me give you two reasons why. The first is a consultancy I undertook in uh, the Middle East, where a sovereign wealth fund had imposed on it by the government a, a portfolio where they had to achieve food security outcomes as well as a minimum return. We helped them on three bases. The first was, how do you understand this second dimension? How do you understand what food security is and how you achieve it? The second thing is, how do you understand the trade-off between the financial and the food security dimensions? And the third is, how do you achieve a minimum expectation of both? How do you maximize your outcomes on both mandates? The strategy that we ended up developing actually does achieve a minimum on both that you would expect from a sovereign wealth fund in terms of returns and in terms of food security outcomes. Closer to home, it's a little bit of a different dynamic. The property sector in Sydney is in great focus right now. And Mike Baird has created an environment where there's a very clear impetus for the private sector, for developers, to start to incorporate these non-financial considerations. Clearly, what we want to see in Sydney is increasing density around underutilized infrastructure, whether it be transport or other key services. Through this clear mandate given by the government, private sector developers are now incorporating these non-financial considerations into the way they do business. And we're even seeing some mandated into their strategy. Now, the critical factor here is this is not socially driven, this is profit driven. At the University of Sydney Business School, what we're focusing on is how this can best be done by engaging both stakeholders from the government and other uh, socially driven stakeholders and the private sector who have a purely profit focus.